Sailing and keeping on on its glorious trip through life's uncharted stormy seas, we welcome you to our happy ship in the heart of Iloilo Province, Iloilo State College of Fisheries. ISCOP sits in approximately 91 hectares of land across its five campuses spread in the 4th Congressional District of Iloilo. Its main campus is located at Tiwi Barota Cuevo and four external campuses in Barota Cuevo Town proper, Dingle, San Enrique, and Tumangas. ISCOP has been perfecting its banner program in fisheries that was awarded ISO 9001-2015 Quality Management System Certification by Global Group and was recognized as High Performing Institution in Fisheries Technologies Board Examination in 2017, 2018, and 2019. Recognized as a CHAD Center of Development in Fisheries, a Provincial Institute for Fisheries, and a Delivering Higher Education Institution in Fisheries Graduate Program, ISCO has produced top notchers in 2007, 2011, 2015, 2017, 2018, 2019, and top one in the 2022 Licensure Examination for Fisheries Professionals. Aside from different programs in fisheries, ISCOP also offers programs in marine biology, education, management, industrial technology, agriculture, information technology, and office administration. Currently, the school offers 37 programs, of which 27 are undergraduate and 10 are graduate programs. 100% of these programs have Certificate of Program Compliance or COPC and have been approved by the Board of Trustees for implementation. In the main campus, there are 7 undergraduate and 7 graduate programs. In Barata Nuevo campus, there are 5 undergraduate and 2 graduate programs. 5 undergraduate programs are offered in Dinglet campus and 4 undergraduate programs in Dumangas campus. In San Enrique campus, there are 6 undergraduate programs and 1 graduate program. Of the 37 programs of ISCOM, in five different campuses, 25% are accredited Level 3, 51% are Level 2, and 6% are Level 1 accredited. Out of six remaining programs, one is in the candidate status and five are new programs with the first batch of graduates last August 17, 2022. These programs are undergoing accreditation visits on October 22 to 28, 2022. Dissertation or thesis is a course requirement for all graduate programs. Graduate students are likewise required a publication in a reference journal prior to graduation, while thesis or capstone project is required for graduation in the undergraduate programs. Moreover, all ISCOF campuses offer adult education programs such as Trade Industrial Technician Education with specializations in Trade Industry, Electricity and Electronics, and Hospital Aid and Caregiving Program. These accomplishments can be attributed to ISCOP's creme de la creme and highly specialized faculty who navigate with 7,792 students in the undergraduate programs and 451 in the graduate programs for their holistic development to become globally competitive, principled, and morally upright. 
ISCOM takes pride in its 241 full-time and 98 part-time faculty across its five campuses, all of whom are master's degree holders and 110 or 46% are doctorate holders. True to its vision, that is to become a premier state university in Southeast Asia and its mission to provide quality education, generate jobs, and alleviate poverty through excellent academic programs. Both faculty and students of ISCOP are highly engaged in research and development activities. Currently, 77% of faculty members are engaged in research. 72% have completed research. Out of these completed researches, 88% of the faculty have published their outputs, of which 54% are in referee journals and 46% are in local or institutional journals. To solidify the grasp of ISCOP in its vision and mission, it is committed to the expansion of its influence and services way beyond the borders of its campuses. With the ASEAN and global mindset, ISCOF offers different opportunities with research as one of its prime thrust to all its stakeholders through different linkages. Currently, a total of 60 research-based extension programs and projects have been initiated and implemented. There are two existing demo farms for agriculture and fisheries programs, which serve as the training ground for extension activities as well as NASDA Assessment Center. Approximately 60% of students, 85% of faculty, and 99% of the beneficiaries have been participating in the community outreach programs and initiatives of the institution. As to linkages, ISCOP has remarkable connections with 25 local and 19 international research engagements. This covers 11 government agencies, 9 local colleges and universities, 7 international agencies, and 12 schools from 8 countries. Most of these are multimodal in nature with research as one of their main components side-by-side -side with student-faculty exchange, extension, work immersion, scholarship, and special projects. It services all colleges in the whole system, the level of which depends on its context, offering, and needed competencies. From the 44 commitments of ISCO, five projects have been completed already, Seven are set for renewal, three are extended, three remain until fully implemented, and the rest are active until assessed otherwise. Nag-training kami ng bangoscopy at naging livelihood namin ito ngayon at pinagpukunan na namin ng aming pambiling, dagdag pambiling pangangalian tulad ng pambiling pagkain at pambili ng aming personal hygiene. At ang pinakaigit sa lahat, nakakatulong ito sa aming pamilya sa labas dahil kami pa mismo ay nagbibigay sa aming pamilya. May magamit na po para sa magamit sa kubra sa buwa. May ara ako at silin sa akong tabuhi. It is worth noting that the institution also engages in 130 local and national linkage partners in support of the institution's extension, faculty development, and academic programs which include but are not limited to training and development, internship, field study, work immersion, summer job, social involvement, Program Linkages and Partnership Outsourcing Student Internship Program in the Philippines and Student Internship Abroad Program ISCOP has also leveled up in terms of its infrastructures across its five campuses to provide relevant 
and updated facilities and equipment so as to achieve a supportive and conducive learning environment. Most notable among the infrastructures constructed are the campus's admin buildings, different college buildings such as College of Fisheries and Aquatic Sciences, College of Education, College of Management, College of Information and Communications Technology, College of Industrial Technology, College of Hospitality Management, College of Agriculture, College of Computer Studies, and College of Technology, among others. ISCOP has also undergone facelifts on its major support structures such as alumni centers, museum, libraries, student center and student affairs buildings, medical and dental clinics, research and development centers, faculty lounge, radio station, laboratories such as science laboratories, computer laboratories, speech laboratories, animal and crop science laboratories to name a few. ISCA also boasts its new facilities and equipment for production, simulation, and internships, which include income-generating cafes and hostels. Meanwhile, academic endeavors of both faculty and students are backed up by the school's state-of-the-art libraries, two of which are powered by solar energy in support of SDG No. 11 on sustainable cities and communities. The libraries have subscriptions to peer-reviewed professional journals and internationally referred journals. It has several titles of graduate reference books, both print and non-print, on specialized discipline or subjects offered under the different programs. The libraries also have subscriptions and access to electronic databases of international and reputable journals indexed in internationally recognized indexes of scholarly journals such as the National Library of the Philippines e-resources portal. It also makes use of the internet, materials in electronic format, open educational resources, and other education technologies, all of which are accessible to students, faculty, researchers, and the community. Currently, the libraries in the five campuses house approximately 55,000 collection of titles, of which around 20,000 are published in the last five years. The sitting president, Dr. Gordy B. Shasson Jr., exhorts all ISCO stakeholders with a new advocacy tagline, Caring to Bridge, Bridging to Care, that channels everybody to work hard and collaborate to help bridge the gap between poverty and progress among our fellow Ilongos, contributing our share to the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals in the National and Regional Development Plans. This is also ISCOP's contextualized education 5.0 that emphasizes the provision of more humanized teaching with a focus on students' and faculty's social and emotional development and solutions that improve life and society over and above the mere use of technologies for speed, accuracy, and knowledge in education. Dr. Shasson's presidency is primed towards ISCOP's becoming a major contributor to Ambition 2040 which envisions the life of all Filipinos, particularly ISCOP stakeholders as Matatag, Maginhawa, at Panata. It also encompasses ISCOP's comprehensive transnational education strategy through the Office of International Affairs and Linkages. From its beginnings in the year 1957, when Congressman Ricardo Y. Madrido acted on the approval of Republic Act 1925 
followed by PD-15G3, signed June 11, 1978, that converted the Iloilo Regional School of Fisheries into the Iloilo State College of Fisheries through the efforts of Dr. Narciso B. Monfort and through Congressman Virginal G. Giron of the 4th District of Iloilo, who sponsored the House Bill that finally led to the enactment and signing into law of Republic Act No. 11012 that converted the status of ISCOC to that of a university. The institution explores the vast oceans of possibilities to ensure that it rightfully navigates the streams of its mandate. With proactive and transformational leadership supported by sustainable stakeholders programs, ISCO continues to realize its vision and mission guided by its core values such as Fortitude, Integrity, Scholarship, Humanity, Excellence, and Service, and shaped by its advocacy tagline, Caring to Bridge, Bridging to Care. With all these in place, Soar Higher is called Up to the Heights, worthy of its new name, Iloilo State University of Fisheries, Science and Technology.